what's up friend this is arun and welcome to my channel for inscription and this is the second part of uh, drag shadow photography in this segment we will learn how to edit drag shadow photography so this is my raw image i have captured all the images in raw format so this is the image i want to edit right click on there and uh, open with i want adobe photoshop and keep in mind that many of uh, people they they ask about camera raw uh, when you open a raw image then it will automatically come into the camera raw if you are using a jpg image then it will not open in the camera raw firstly uh, then you can later on uh, working the filter uh, menu then camera raw so if you are using uh, in, uh, this image will open in the camera raw right so this is the image i want to edit this image uh, Uh, these are my highlights. I want to control the highlights uh, from here. Oh, I think this is fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I will. I will try to boost shadows so that I can get more details in the shadows. Okay. This is fine. And uh, this is the part. I. Uh, this is the part I want to hide. Uh, I will reduce the exposure of all for the complete. image okay this is fine mm, okay this is fine and uh, this is my color panel uh, saturation i want to reduce the saturation for orange mm, okay i will try to boost luminance to make face more bright and white okay i think this is fine this is really fine okay uh, now click on So this is my image, and uh, firstly I will try to crop it. So this is my crop tool, and uh, press Shift on the keyboard so that you can maintain the aspect ratio. This is very necessary. Uh, I think uh, this is fine. Okay, little bit from the bottom part of this image. Okay. Uh, now I want to remove this umbrella. Make a new layer and. Uh, This is my clone stem tool, and uh, take a selection from here, and apply it here. Now it has been removed. Okay, this is fine. And again, as uh, I want to remove some parts from here, again make a new layer uh, so that we can reduce the opacity on the another layer. That's why I'm making the new layer again and again, and. Uh, now again make a new layer and uh, choose your black brush and take a selection from here okay okay this is fine and uh, go to this adjustment layer then go to gradient i want black to transparent okay this is fine now okay then again go to this uh, adjustment layer this time i want curve layer uh i want to make it a uh, little bit uh, less contrast i want to put low contrast so this is a diagonal line in the curve and i will move it in the to the okay now this is i want before and after before and after now we are getting very hazy look this is fine and uh, i want to merge all these layers by pressing control shift alt e on the keyboard okay now i will go to this uh, filter then uh, camera raw filter then uh, camera raw 
okay little bit more under expose i want okay this is fine and uh, white contrast i want more white so that i can okay this is fine and blue shade i want for my black so little bit i want uh, hmm i will go to this color section go to saturation in the luminance uh, that's for red i want to increase the luminance now you can see the effect okay this is fine and uh, moreover so this is my green color uh, now you can see there uh, this is my aqua okay now aqua is working better okay now i want uh, some clarity uh, i want some local contrast for clarity now you can see that very nice effect is coming okay uh, this is fine a little bit i want to make it more uh, under expose uh, okay uh, this is my split toning part uh in the, in the in the shadow part i will try to some add a color from here okay uh, i want some blue shade i think this is fine okay mm. okay now you can see there uh i want some low contrast okay this is fine and a little bit of sharpness i want okay now this is fine now click on okay now this is before and this is after and uh, last thing i want to do and make a new layer and go to this clone stamp tool again press alt on there okay this is fine before and after again make a new layer i will try to find out some more interesting result from the next software now go to color effects okay this is my detail extractor and it's really really working very nicely now add one more filter and this is my favorite one cross processing okay now i want this filter now click on okay and uh, this is your final result so in this way you can create uh, a very nice drag your shutter photography effects and you can add it in this way thank you friends keep watching rm creation